Hey folks, I've got a battle feud today against Rex6 of Smogon. I've found him through the Smogon Battle Finder, and as you can see, he's using Staraptor even though this is a UU battle. It doesn't really matter. Uh, he didn't know that it was BL, so I was like, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. Um, basically, Staraptor is banned because it's because of its new ability, Reckless, and he's not using a Reckless Staraptor anyway, so it's really not too much of an issue. I go ahead and send out Blake, my Arcanine, thinking that it's a good counter for at least three or four of his Pokémon that he could be leading with, but he did lead off with Staraptor, the one Pokémon that really is not good for Blake to be up against, especially considering that Intimidate. So I'm going to go ahead and predict the close combat, and go ahead and go into my Clank, my Golurk, but instead he went for the Brave Bird, and based on the amount of damage this does, I'm going to guess that this guy is banded. I mean, look at this. He has one hit KO'd my Golurk, and really, I would think the only way you could do that without Reckless is if he was banded. So, thinking that he must be locked into uh, Brave Bird, I'm going to go ahead and send out my Empoleon, which I know is going to scare him out because it's resisted and whatnot. He's going to go ahead and call back his Staraptor as predicted, but unfortunately, it's not going to be a good switch for me. He's going to go ahead and switch into his Hitmon top as I go for the agility. I was really hoping to set up a sweep here, but that's not going to be the case. My opponent's going to go for the Mock Punch, and that is going to be boosted by Technician because we didn't see any Intimidate or anything. But he really could have gone for a move that didn't have priority, like Revenge or um, Close Combat, and it would have probably been a better move for him because all I've got to attack him with is Scald, and it's not going to be enough to even 2 hit KO. I'm going to have to draw back my Empoleon, and I'm going to go ahead and send out uh, Patrick, my Uxy, thinking that I can wall pretty much anything from this guy. As you see, Mach Punch does nothing. So now he's going to go ahead and Sucker Punch, expecting me to Psychic, but I'm actually not interested in that right now. I'm just interested in setting up my Stealth Rocks, because, you know, Stealth Rocks are nice. And also, I was kind of hoping that he would use Sucker Punch. going to go for the Psychic here, and here he didn't go for the Sucker Punch, so this is just excellent. He's going to go ahead and go for the Bulk Up this turn. And so now I'm thinking, can I survive a plus one... Uh, sucker Punch, and I'm gonna say yes I can. So his Hitmontop does go ahead and hit me, and that is gonna do a whole, whole lot of damage, but I survived with 125 HP, so I'm good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use Psychic, take, take out his Hitmontop, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So it's all good, Silverstein, yeah, Jew joke, can't say I'm the biggest fan. He's going to go ahead and set out Empoleon, which is going to wall me to high heaven, so I'm going to have to call back my uh, Patrick, and I'm going to go ahead and send out Kudzulu. Now, he could be packing the Ice Punch, but I don't think he is. Indeed, he goes for the uh, Stealth Rocks, and so that's excellent. I've got a free switch, and yeah, two of my Pokémon are weak to, weak to Stealth Rocks, and I don't have a spinner, but it's really not the end of the world. Ice Beam, he does pack it, and it's almost enough to one-shot me, but I knew that, I was almost positive that he couldn't. You have to have specs to one-shot my, uh, my uh, Kazulu, and even then, that's not guaranteed. And so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake here. It doesn't do as much damage as I was hoping, and so now I'm going to have to go ahead and call back my Kazulu, because just at that range of health, it, uh, you know, it's obviously not going to be able to take another Ice punch, uh, ice Beam. I'm going to go ahead and send out Patrick, knowing that it can't take an Ice Punch at this range of health, but just wanting the free switch into someone else. He actually switches up and goes to Skull, predicting my switch maybe into Arcanine. That would have been a great move. He is in Torrent range, or so it appears, so i got to be careful here. Patrick is down, and he's racking up the Life Orb damage. So now I'm going to go ahead and send out Hugabug, my Galvantula, and I'm obviously going to be able to outspeed. I do actually carry priority, but I didn't think he was going to go for the um, Aqua Jet. Energy Ball is going to be enough to take him out. That crit totally and completely did not matter, and down goes Empoleon, and I am racking up a lot of damage due to Life Orb myself. So now out comes... Uh, his Staraptor, I'm thinking he's bluffing the Scarf, so I don't have too much to worry about. I will be faster if he's not Scarfed, and so I'm just going to stay in and go for the Thunder. But he carries the Quick Attack, and I'm like, whoa, seriously? That's an excellent move to have on a Bandit Staraptor, even though it only has 40 base power. I do go ahead and go for the Thunder, but it's going to be a doubling down because he did get me low enough to where... Uh, Life Orb Recoil is going to take me out. So bye bye Hugabug, didn't really get to do too much in this battle, but you did take out two huge threats, so thumbs up. 
Based on the Pokémon he has left, I'm going to go ahead and send out Arcanine, uh, thinking that it will it should be able to counter a lot of them. He sends out his Porygon 2, and so, hey, I've got close combat and I'm going to outspeed, so I have nothing to fear from this guy. Now, the, I was actually fearing that he was going to switch out into Pinsir, which would resist it, and would force me to switch and take more Stealth Rock damage, but he doesn't. He stays in, thinking he can survive the close combat, maybe, or thinking maybe I don't carry it, but in any case, I take him out. So that's excellent. Don't have to worry about that Porygon 2 at all. My Arcanine is Choice Banded, so that's awesome. So now, my opponent's going to go ahead and send out his own Golurk, and obviously I'm going to have to switch out here because, again, I'm locked into close combat. Can't really do anything. So, yeah, I was actually really fearing that he would predict that switch, but he didn't, so it's all good. Go ahead and send out Kazulu. I have 152 HP. I just love Regenerator. It's such an awesome ability. Unfortunately, he predicts that and goes for the sub. I mean, it was obviously he was going to predict the switch. That's stupid. But uh, he goes for the sub, and so now he's behind a sub, and so he's going to be able to get off the Focus Punch. And even though I'm at 50% health, I'm not sure whether I can survive. It's 50-50 uh, based on my stats. I go for the Earthquake just to break his sub and I'm just hoping that I can survive a Focus Punch, but I'm just really not sure. And so here co here it comes, and I'm holding my breath in uh, anticipation, and just hoping I can survive, but he gets a crit. Now, not sure whether that crit mattered. Expect something in the annotations that'll tell you one way or the other. But yeah, so he's back up to almost full HP. I'm going to go ahead and send out my Empoleon, thinking that I can probably take him out with a Scald, especially considering I've just gone into Torrent range, and so that Scald is going to be awesomely boosted. He's going to send out his Pinsir, uh, which is going to take 25% damage from the Stealth Rocks, and yeah, I don't care about Mold Breaker, but my Scald is boosted by Torrent, so I'm actually hoping that it's going to be able to KO. And so, holding my breath, hoping that it's going to KO, and yes, it does. So down goes Shredder. Uh, really, didn't, he couldn't have done anything. He really should have left in his Golurk to die. And I'm not sure whether he would have outsped me. But in any case, I'm going to be able to go for the Scald and win the match. So that's great game, Rex 6. Uh, Empoleon did a great job this game. Uh, Arcanine did a great job this game. Yuxi did a great job this game. This team is really pretty solid, in my humble opinion. You can leave comments in the description if you don't agree. So, so long, folks. See you later.